Hello! Welcome to finally a cloudy day here at the workshop, which means it's a little bit cooler for all the work we gotta do. Yesterday, of course, we were forging hammers. Today, I think we're gonna do less forging and more grinding and handling. We've got, you know, some of the sizes of hammers already forged. I think if we go ahead and grind and handle them, that's gonna be a nice change of pace to the forging, which is certainly quite exhausting. So Sam is wire wheeling the hammers, and I'm over here first giving each hammer a little bit of a, a run over with my eyes, having a look at it, seeing if there are any problems, making sure it's all square, straight, neat, and basically just making sure that it's a damn good hammer. You know, that's, that's, that's what the whole idea is. The second step that I do is I then take a die grinder, and I use the die grinder in the eye of the hammer in the eye side, the side of the eye that the handle goes in so that it's nicely radius so that when we put that handle in rather than tearing the wood it'll kind of just gently form itself into the eye and allow us to kind of build up a lot of pressure and tension uh, within the eye to have a lot of friction. I use these cone bits on the die grinder and I think these are just fantastic. They're great for getting into the tight spaces of the eye. The reason it's so important to buy good quality bits is I've done over a hundred hammers with this single bit. I've done Damascus rings with the bit, I've, so it's done hardened steel, it's done well over a hundred hammers. This bit, good quality, cost a lot of money, worth it. Haven't had to change it once. Okay, so we now have the billets descaled, deburred on that inside edge, and uh, wire wheeled. He's been doing a good job with the wire wheel. Here are some of the billets right there. I'm now, and you, you can tell I'm shirtless, it's really hot, you know. Work on my tan, work on my whiteboard tan. I'm now gonna go ahead and run to the belt grinder. This is a 75 by 2000, so about a three by 80 something inch belt grinder with a variable frequency drive and a three horsepower motor. It's a nice belt grinder, it's pretty solid, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I've slapped an 80 grit belt on there. Something that I've been doing recently is I've been completely skipping out the 40 grit stage of grinding, and I go straight to 80 grit, then to 120, and then to a trizact belt. And that finishing process seems to give me a little better results, and when you run an 80 grit belt fast enough, you can get enough material removal to still make it quite as efficient. Look at all the little fishies! Little fishy wishy wishy! Little the hammer fishy. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. So, put one of them on when you're doing that grinding. All the flat dies have been rough ground with 80 grit. Now, on to 120. Okay, I'm back in this end of the workshop. Sam is at the grinder, uh, polishing up the 120 grit stage of the round die of the hammers, which is very kind of him. Uh, meanwhile, um, I have to make a piece for my father's boat. So this is what we have. And this is some sort of something or other that holds the main sheet into the cleats and kind of guides it into the cleats. And it has snapped. This obviously formerly was made of plastic. I have a piece of steel here that we're going to make this out of. Obviously, it's, it's going to rust. He's expressed that he doesn't mind that it rusts, so that's fine. I've got to work out how I get this with the thingamawatsit. 
looked a little bit more like this before it was broken. So I need to make a protrusion and then rectangularize it and have two holes in the same place as this to fit into the existing mounting holes. That will be an exciting little exercise. <laughs> Okay, so it's now 6.30 p.m. We've got these nine smaller classic rounding hammers finished ground, heat treated, and oiled. You know, I, I, I kind of just was deciding whether I'd do any handling of them tonight. I definitely don't think I'm going to finish handling them all. However, I think I'm going to just start preparing some handles. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that right now. You know, a little while earlier I'd been saying to myself that look, that pile of hammers looks like it's a lot smaller than what it started out as. Um, and that's because over here, there are uh, some of the smaller hammers, some of the farrier hammers, which I haven't even heat treated them. So I, I guess we're gonna do a heat treating and we'll do handling another day. <laughs> That's, that's probably going to be it for the day. Um, we're going to go ahead and pack up and uh, head home. Thank you for watching. You know the drill. Do the whole liking. You know, subscribe. You know, comment. Like, share it with your friends. Be like, oh wow, this video was cool. And if it wasn't, be like, oh wow, this video wasn't cool. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the morning. Same time, every day. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. When you see this video, it's gonna be Friday, which means that tomorrow, you're not gonna see me in the morning. In fact, you're gonna see me in the evening at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. if you're here in the UK, at the new YouTube channel dedicated to the live show. Go ahead and subscribe to that YouTube channel and see me for the live show tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, now we'll go. Have a great one, guys.